Dempsey's dugout today. Thank and you. I'm so anxious to talk to you a little bit. Show me some of the things that are really attributing to the fact that you're making great contact right now. Uh, well, you know, I think it's not really... Everybody starts differently, but everybody's pretty much the same at you when know, it comes to contact. contact and right. one thing that uh, Brady always preaches to me is, is head discipline. You know, you got to have good head discipline. You can't, at the point of contact, you can't pull off, you can't do anything. You don't want to look up too early. Uh, you really just want to have good head discipline, and it helps you stay through the ball, stay over the ball instead of coming off and rolling over and things like that. So that's one thing, uh, you know, that he's preached to me a lot that I've tried to work on mm -hmm. uh, a lot in, uh, in BP. I've noticed too also in your upright position, you somehow at the very end right before turn your hip in, that keeps you locked in until you plant? Uh, yeah, I mean it's just something that kind of happens I guess, something that, uh, that I'm uh, more comfortable doing, but uh, it helps me stay uh, instead of uh, coming down and bailing out and throwing my hip you know, open, it just helps me kind of just like go to the ball and stay over it and through it. Mm -hmm. Early on in your career with the Orioles, I've noticed that you were a dead line drive hitter. You didn't loft too many balls into the seats. When I saw you hit a home run, it was a bullet into the seats in left field. That's what I remember about you. But now it seems like when you go to right field and you're hitting, you're getting a little bit more loft to, uh, to your flight of, of, of home run balls and really your doubles at the same time too. Is there something that's changed about the way you're making contact that's done that? You know, I mean, you look at some players uh, and they look the same year after year after year. I mean, I go back and I'll look at myself, uh, you know, uh, my at bats in 09, and I just I feel like it, like it looked completely different. Uh, you know, so there's nothing that uh, I can really put my finger on, but uh, you know, home runs are accidents, and those ones to right field are like, well, you know, they just happen. So uh, as long as you're not trying to hit home runs, they'll they'll come. One thing I've kind of always wanted to ask you about, and it kind of stands out to me and everybody else who watches you play, is when you make contact, you get out of the batter's box so fast. For a right-hand hitter, it's very unusual that you see guys that can get to first base as quick as you do. Is there something different when you make contact, the way you react to having to run to first base that makes you quicker? No, it's just something that kind of happens. I guess my dad has always preached to me at it from a young age. He hustles, you know, it's one, one thing he's always said over and over again. So it's just something that, uh, you know, uh, just, just happens. And I've gotten some cheap hits by running down the line. So there's no real trick to really getting out of the batter's box quick. It's just something that happens with you, right? Yeah, it's not, you don't go up there, you're not standing in the box thinking, wow, I'm really going to get out of the box here really quick. So it's kind of just... <laughs> it's not a thought that <laughs> yeah, comes to really your a, mind, Rick. Yeah, it's not really something you think just about. contact just, first yeah, and then just, worry about yeah, running, contact right? and then it just happens. So uh, I guess it depends on you know, where the pitch is, that sort of thing, where you finish up, you know, you stay over the plate, you get a little uh, momentum going to first. So uh, it's just a plus for staying over the ball.